Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I wish to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit more exciting. I'm going to bring my friends, they're comedians, and they're good. And they're excited about bringing it to you. But right now, I want to talk about a topic that is not funny, but it's serious. A little bit about me, and then I'll get into this, okay? Okay, I'm going to weigh in on racism. In the country I was born in, this one, United States of America. I started working for a major U.S. company at the tender age of 19. And I stayed with that company in that work environment for 30 years plus. And racism showed its ugly head as soon as I was cleared to work. Like, I worked on the flight line. And back in the day, back then, uh, the U.S. government forced all these major companies to hire people of color because they had a quota. Maybe they hired three to five uh, people of color to 300, <laughs> something like that. Hy hypothetical number, you know. But anyway, the fact is, I worked on the flight line and when you work on a flight line, uh, you don't see a whole lot of people socializing. So I'm working with people who we, did a, we got a job done, but I knew that they, there was some things going on that they didn't really care to work with me, all right? But long story short, at the end of the day, when I left that company, I had a pretty good position. I was a flight line instructor, okay? And they sent me all over the world. But I didn't in, really run into racism uh, until I had left that company. Okay, because I, 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 I'm just a different breed. I did my job the right, and I ignored all the BS that was coming on to get where I had to get. Not saying I was a HN. Y'all know what that is. Not, I wasn't there. But the fact is, racism has been in this country a long time. And it ain't just the slavery situation, because these young kids right now don't know nothing about slavery. Unless their parents or grandparents tell them about it. But the fact is, uh, it's a new day right now. And now we have law enforcement killing black people or people of color because these white supremacist group groups have infiltrated the law enforcement organizations across the country. And it's sad. It's really sad that this is going on. Like, okay, this month, a man raised his hands. Police had his gun on it, on him. His hands were raised, but a policeman still killed him. Come on. So look, as I am, sir worldwide, and I can back that up with these passports. Here's one. Right here, you know, you know that's me. All right. That visa's from China. This visa right here, Kingdom of Cambodia. I can go on and on with the passport thing, but it ain't about that. That's why I'm sure worldwide. I can back it up. That's just two passports. I filled up four. Here's the deal. One day I was in a foreign country, right? But my camera's working because I'm a photographer. And I saw these kids playing in the schoolyard. And they were holding hands and playing. I saw a black kid and a white kid holding hands playing. I saw a, an Asian, I think it was a Chinese person, holding a, a, another black kid. They were just playing and having so much fun. My point with this is these kids don't see that color thing. That's my friend. That's how they feel. This is my friend. I like my friend. They come to school in the morning, they look for their friend. So this racism thing goes way back before the John Birch Society hooked up with the KKK. It goes way back, before, long before that. But, but the deal now is, these young kids are so smart. Not just to what they're learning in school, they are so smart because they hook together and they discuss things that should be discussed among themselves. So why can't we learn from these young people 
how to get rid of this racism thing because who wants to hate somebody because they have a different color skin? That's stupid. We need to love one another. We're the same species. We're human beings. Yeah, I've had people who didn't like me, right? Because of the color of my skin. But when he got to know me, that went away. I wasn't taught to hate anybody. In fact, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in hate and anger. They are negative emotions. But let's teach the young kids or learn from them about this racism thing. I mean, here we got a superstar entertainer talking about he loves Mr. Trump. Now we know what he's about. If you don't know what he's about, watch my boy Trevor Noah. I watch him every night. <laughs> Not only Trevor, there's so many people that are alert to what's going on with our country. The whole world is looking at what's going on in our country. I was riding a train in London, right? And these two young men, they saw me. I had my bag tag. They said I came from Heathrow Airport. The guy would say, hey, man, you come from New York? I said, no, I came from the United States. He said, I want to go there. One of them said, I want to go there, but I'm afraid. The cops, because these guys, were, were, they were of color. He said, the cops might just want to shoot me because of my color. And then I just told him, listen, man, don't be afraid to go, to, go visit America. Just go. You got a problem, just call the police, okay? If you got a problem. Uh, but don't, just go enjoy yourself. We do have some great uh, ness with our country. It's like you have some here with yours as well. I love England, right? And then I was in France. And again, I ran across a couple of young men. And they saw me. And one guy said, oh, you serve worldwide. Yeah, I saw you on Elders React. I said, really? He said, yeah, I saw you there. So that's why I watch it. I said, well, thank you, thank you. I said, I'll try to stay positive. Uh, he said, I want to go to America, man, but I'm afraid of the police. <laughs> two different countries, two guys talking to me about our country. That's a bad thing. It is, the whole world is looking at what's going on in our country. But back to Kanye. Get a grip, dude. You can't turn your back on all of us. Please subscribe, like this, and stop hating on someone because their color is not the same as yours. We should all love one another. Love is a good thing. Yes, it is. Thank you. Subscribe. <laughs>